you know, Jim, confrontation in the Middle East drives oil prices higher. It almost always does. And you saw this big jump in crude oil prices yesterday, about a 5% hop on news. The Iranians shot down that unmanned uh, U.S. aircraft. Conflict anywhere near, uh, anywhere near this area. The Persian Gulf almost always drives up crude prices. 20% of the world's supply flows through here. This is a really important corridor. A third of all seaborne oil flows through here. And you can see the location of all of these events that have really uh, raised the temperature. This could pose a test for the Trump economy. If tensions stay high, uh, higher crude oil prices lead to higher gas prices, and that raises costs for manufacturers and consumers just as an election approaches. You know, until now, energy prices had been falling on plenty of global supply and on worries that slowing economies around the world would cool demand for crude. Oil prices actually fell into a bear market earlier this spring, but now risk in the Gulf putting a floor under oil prices again. And then this, this morning, an explosion at the largest oil refinery in the East Coast in Philadelphia just before dawn. Uh, this in a vat of butane, we're told, exploded. You could feel it in southern New Jersey, in Delaware County, uh, Pennsylvania. Just another kind of reminder uh, of this global nature of the, of the oil market and uh, this refinery clearly adding to some of the worries here, Jim.